teased. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, and I do believe it is episode number six. We have not done one of these in quite a long time, and on yesterday's video, a very kind subscriber commented down below. They were like, what happened to the WWE Action Figure Surgery videos? I enjoyed those a lot. You guys liked that comment so very much, so I, uh, I thought about it, and I was like, you know what, Brad? You're right. We need to do some freaking surgery. So I got Dr. White on the phone. He slid in the office and we're ready to go here. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to do today. A lot of switching and stuff like that. So these action figures are ready to go to surgery. We got uh, a couple things here. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing here. Um, first of all, Jack Swagger. You'll notice he's on the hospital bed right here or the stretcher whatever you want to call it. Um, he's laid out. We're going to be doing a lot of switches between this Jack Swagger and that Jack Swagger. You can notice that the boots on this one are the Eddie Guerrero Legends boots. I'm going to be popping those off, sliding off these knee pads, doing some knee pad swaps and some boot swaps. So I'm going to put the Jack Swagger boots from over here. These right here, they look a lot better. I love these boots. They're the Batista slash Brock Lesnar style. So we're going to be using these boots and then I'm not sure exactly what knee pads I want to use. Uh, I feel like this blue color would look really nice. I feel like you guys will recommend doing the blue because I don't want those massive star knee pads. I want these smaller ones, better articulation and such. Or I'll use these red ones. It's up to you guys whichever ones you think look better. Um, maybe we'll take a look at both. I think I may just pop the blue ones on there and leave it at that, but uh, we have that switch that I want to do. I also am going to be taking uh, this Dolph Ziggler right here, and we're going to be switching the basic arms from this Dolph Ziggler on there. We're going to be uh, getting these smaller arms on there because they make the elite Dolph Ziggler arms way too freaking big. So we'll be doing that switch as well as switching out the thighs with this Dolph Ziggler. So I'm going to take this Ziggler and make him be wearing biker shorts. So we're going to be uh, switching in the thigh out right here that way it'll look like he has uh, black biker style shorts on and then later on this week I'll probably paint it up and make a custom Dolph Ziggler attire um, depending on what I do. I don't know if I'll do that yet, but I do know I want to give them the biker shorts look. I don't know if I'll keep the black boots or if I'll switch it to white. I'm not sure on that either. We also need to get some shorter knee pads on Dolph Ziggler. And then we're going to take this Shelton Benjamin, and you'll notice we got the brand new Elite 63. Uh, oh, Jack Swagger fell off the stretcher. Um, we're going to uh, switch out these knee pads because they're way too big. And what I had an idea was, is I had the uh, Cash is In, Seth Cash is In knee pads. I'm going to take one black one with gold trim. Then I'm going to take a white uh, uh, knee pad with gold trim from the Elite 45 Seth Rollins and I'm going to pop that on the left knee. So the left side will have white with gold trim and the uh, right side will have black with gold trim and I think that'll look nice. Um, you know, since there's so much black on this knee pad and there's so much black on this kick pad, I think it'll work out alright. I think if it, In my head it looks good so maybe it'll look good when we pop all that on there. So let's go ahead and get to freaking surgery. So before we get started right here guys you can see these are the two Jack Swaggers. So what we're going to be doing is switching the boots, switching the arms, switching the head scans, and popping these blue knee pads onto the Jack Swagger Elite. I think this blue matches perfectly. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact blue. If it's not, then I don't know, Brad. I mean, it's it's pretty freaking close. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get the white trusty hair dryer. All right, guys, so I got my white hair dryer, and here we go. We're just going to heat up the boots, and yeah, I'm going to stack this or something. Let's go ahead and get this ready to go. We'll stack it just like that, and let's hit it. All right, guys, maybe that's good enough. We're going to have to find out and see. Uh, all right, got the one boot off. Got the other boot off. Let's go ahead and pop these boots off. That way we ain't got to reheat them up. Got one boot there. Another boot there. Slide him back here. All right, now we got to slide these big star uh, knee pads off. That way we can get the smaller ones on there for better articulation. All right, got that one and got the other one. So now we got to take this. I got to check and see which side's the left, which side is the right. All right, this one's the right one. Should slide right on. Psych. Jack Swagger has massive calves for some reason. I'm just kidding. Jack Swagger's a pretty big guy. So the one knee pad is on. Going over to the left knee pad. And there we go. Looks a lot better now. So all we got to do now is pop these boots on here. Hopefully they're hot enough still. Oh yeah, got that one and the other one. Bam, just like that. So now we're gonna heat up the arms and the head scan and this Jack Swagger will be completed. All right guys, next up we're gonna be heating up the arms, so let's hit it. 
All right, maybe that's hot enough for the right side. And there's one arm. Got the other arm. Go ahead and pop the uh, taped hand over here. Maybe it's hot enough to do this side. No, not even freaking close. All right, so now that we have both the right arms completed, now we gotta heat up the left side. All right, guys, see if this is good enough. All right, there we go. And now put the tape tan over here, just like so, and then pop this over here. And booyah, so now we have the boots and the arms and the knee pads all done, so now all we have to do is the head scans on these guys. Oh, snap, is it already? Oh my god, the head's already hot enough? Is this head already hot enough? Oh my god, would you look at that? And voila freaking Bushka, now our Jack Swagger's all completed. And we will take a closer look at him when uh, the video's over. But now that we have completed Jack Swagger swappage, let's go ahead and I guess we can go to Shelton Benjamin next. All right, guys, so again, with Shelton Benjamin, what we're going to be doing is popping off the kick pads and switching on a smaller knee pad over here and a smaller knee pad over here. And both of them are Seth Rollins knee pads. Of course, the one on the right will be, or your guy's left, but Shelton Benjamin's right, it will be the black with gold trim. And then on the left, we're going to go with white with gold trim. So now let's go ahead and heat up his kick pads so we can switch these knee pads. Alright guys, these kick pads are extremely hard to get off, so hopefully it won't be that bad on me to get it off. Alright, got that one. And let's go ahead and pop the other one off that way. We don't let it cool down. Christ on a cycle. Alright, got it both. That wasn't that bad, but the leg's a little crooked now, so... All right, so we're popping off these knee pads real quick. All right, one large knee pad gone, and the other one's a lot easier. Would you look at that? All right, so now, good Lord, his legs are sort of warped because of the, I think I, when I was sliding off that knee pad, it kind of like messed up the, the leg a little bit. But all right, let's see what this looks like. Slide on the black knee pad. I think it's going to look pretty freaking flames, to be honest, guys. I, I'm, I'm already seeing it a little bit. And see if this will slide on. There we go. Not looking half bad right now, guys. All right, let's pop on the kick pads again. One kick pad. And the other kick pad. And now Shelton is completely done. Let's go ahead and stand him up here. And all right, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I like it. I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. I am liking that a lot. Would you look at that right there? So Shelton Benjamin looks a lot better with these smaller knee pads. And like I said, since the... Uh, God, that's so loose because it's still hot. Look at that. But since this kick pad is mostly white, the white just ties in perfectly. And then since this one is mostly black, the black, again, just looks so great. I'm very happy with that fix-up. Sort of just hit me uh, yesterday to do this uh, fix-up. So I'm glad that it worked out that way. We'll take another look at him at the finish. But now it is time to move on. Now it is time to move on to the Dolph Ziggler swaps. All right, guys. So starting out first, we do have to switch out these arms. So I I guess we will do those switches first. All right, guys, that should be more than enough time for these arms. Got the one arm. I didn't heat up this side, you stupid idiot. You gotta go to the other Ziggler. And the other Jesus. All right, guys, got the one arm over there. So now you see you got the jacked arm over here, small arm over here. Now we gotta go heat up the other side. All right, guys, maybe that's good enough here for the Ziggler or other Ziggler arm. Yeah, that smaller one fell off pretty good, and the bigger one is freaking loosey-goosey, too. But there it goes. Oh, my God, I burned myself a little. But now the basic has the jacked arms, and the elite has the smaller arms, and now it looks 152,000% better. Um, actually, accurate-looking arms for Dolph Ziggler. So now what we're going to do is switch out these legs right here and that is going to be difficult but we have to do it so we're going to be switching out uh right here where it swivels the lower part of that with the lower part of this one all right guys maybe this will be good enough uh the switching these are popping off the upper legs like this oh my god it does that because this uh, is on ball joints, so it's very difficult to do, actually. I hate actually even doing this. Yeah, very tough to do, but I did get it, so. So, wow, I actually got both. I didn't get them on camera, I don't think, but you know what? 
not always on camera, you know, you gotta do it, oh my god, another one, but maybe I can, maybe I can get it off as well, just like the other, just sort of pry it like you're opening a can of Mountain Juice or something. Alright, got that one, and moving over to the other side, if we can put this back on the Ziggler right here. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to heat this one up a little bit, and then we will get it off. Alright guys, let's see if this is hot enough here. Do the mountain juice method. Think I got it. And we finally freaking got it. So now what we're going to do is pop this back onto the Elite 48 Ziggler. And pop these thighs into here. Just like that. And just like that. So now... I have to decide if I want to do the black boots or the white boots. So here is the Ziggler after the surgery, guys. You can see the smaller arms look a lot better. We also need to switch out these knee pads, so I'll have to heat up these. Oh, maybe not. I may just pop these right off. Oh, wow. The boots do just pop off because it's still hot enough. So now we can just slide these knee pads off real quick. One knee pad, two knee pads. And now, um, I gotta go get some smaller knee pads, but should I switch on the white boots or the black boots? I feel like the white boots would look better, but the black gives it the all black look. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with the black boots, man. I don't know. Who, who knows? Let's, let's get the smaller knee pads first. Alright guys, I got the smaller knee pads, and now that I just picked them up, I totally forgot which side is the left and which one is the right, so I'm gonna have to check that real quick before we put them on Ziggler. Alright guys, this one is the left, so this should just slide on here. Alright guys, got Ziggler's knee pads on there, much better than the larger ones, so now all we gotta do is pop his black boots on. Alright guys, so here we have Ziggler in his biker black shorts, the smaller arms, the smaller knee pads, and the black Elite 39 boots. Got the DZ crew on the butt. Again, I think I'm going to use this to make a custom Dolph Ziggler attire for sold out. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I think I am down to literally just the final touches on sold out. It's literally um, this the MDT Championship match and a few other things, and we are ready to go. So it will be up very, very soon, guys. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at all of our fix-ups all together. All right, guys, so taking a closer look at all of the fix-ups we've done here on action figure surgery today starting off with jack swagger i am freaking loving the way this came out that boot swap knee pad swap arm swap and head swap was like an ultimate jack swagger frankenstein effort but it totally came together and uh, i like it a lot better now that knee pad color matches perfectly i don't even want to try the red knee pads because now that i'm looking at the red on the uh, tights right here it kind of looks like it's an orangish red this is more of a you know daniel bryan style red so i, I like the blue a lot the knee pads on the Shelton Benjamin is probably one of my favorites. I mean, I love that, you know, you can tell if you stand back and look, um, all the black on the kick pad really ties into the black and gold on the knee pad. And then the white, the same thing on this side. It's so freaking sick. I love the way that came out. Better articulation. And, you know, if I got picky, I could go in and do a similar paint design on the knee pad. I don't think I will, though. I think it looks really, really bad A anyways. So Shelton's looking great in Elite 63. And then we have our Dolph Ziggler right here, guys, with the thigh and boot and small arms and the smaller knee pads. And I think it looks great as well. And I cannot wait to turn that into a custom attire. Will he wear it? It's sold out. Who knows? It's one of the last matches to film. So uh, I guess I'll make that decision here in the next few days. But that pretty much does it for this episode of Action Figure Surgery, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Comment down below what you think of all three fix-ups here today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you